Yo, what up YouTube? Figure I'd drop a video. I got something new for you today. Um, so there's been a lot of talk, a lot of pictures on Facebook, whiskey clubs and different things showing this new Buffalo Trace line of bourbon. It's not, it's an old brand, but they got a new line. So this benchmark. So you see, this is the benchmark single barrel. Um, at my local liquor store, they had, um, they had everything except for the bottled and bond one. So I guess in this benchmark, they start off with a small batch. Then they go to a, um, what's the one? It's called top floor. Um, the top floor one is after the small batch and levels. Um, they call it the top floor because I guess it's aged at the highest level of one of the warehouses, basically. So they call it top shelf. Um, then after the top shelf, then you have the single barrel and then it only goes up from there. After the single barrel, you have the bottled and bond and then you have the full proof. Um, now, one of the guys that was in there, one of the customers was buying the full proof and he was like, man, I've been told like this is the closest thing to Stag Jr. Kind of like people say Weller's is the cheap man's pappy. They're saying that this uh, benchmark full proof is kind of the, the poor man's stag jr basically um i watched some videos on all people tasting all of them reviewing all of them um nobody seemed to impress but the price point so the most expensive one i think is 25 dollars to civilians for me i get the military discount so i got this one for 23 but i believe these this one and the bottom and bottom maybe the full proof for 23 to 25 dollars um, the small batch and the top floor are like 18 to 19 dollars. So they're pretty cheap bourbon So I don't expect much. I couldn't find an age statement anything like that. Um, I'm assuming It's a three to four year old bourbon. I my hunch is Buffalo Trace is throwing this out there hoping that it's going to catch on like all their products and um, This is aged. I believe it's aged probably a lot less half the age of anything else that buffalo trace makes so i'm assuming they figure they can pump this out fast and everybody's going to buy it because it's buffalo trace so this is but i mean it says buffalo trace on the bottle distilled aged and bottled by buffalo trace distillery frankfort kentucky it's benchmark it's not bitch it's a brand of benchmark eight if you're familiar with that that stuff's not very good it's only 40 percent alcohol so it's watered down and then it's got a weird aftertaste, a weird bite to it that I don't, I didn't care for too much. I tried it once and was like, nope. Like another one, Ancient Age, that's a Buffalo Trace product and it's 40% alcohol. But it actually got a good flavor to it and, it, and it's good. It's watered down, but it's it's got good flavor. The Benchmark 8 is horrible, horrible bourbon, in my opinion. Um, some people like it. So um, this one here, and all of them are different proof. I uh, So I think the small batch is a... 40, I can't remember. I know the top floor was like 43% alcohol. Um, this one is 47.5. So it's 95 proof. Um, the single barrel is. And then the full proof obviously was a lot higher. It was it was like Stag Jr. It was like 130 proof. Or it was like 60, almost 65% alcohol. Real strong. Um, if you're a proof whore, then go for it. You like that burn, that freaking heartburn and all that then go for it your cup of tea not mine um i like to keep my alcohol percentage between 45 and 50 um eh taylor or no not eh taylor um elijah craig barrel proof is phenomenal that's one of the best bourbons i've ever had and i can't believe it's such a high proof so that's the only one i've had that i'm like blown away by it's just so good at a high proof um, and that's what i've been told a lot of the pappies are those are higher proof bourbons if you've ever had them i've never had them i should probably go to a restaurant and try some um, but they said it's super smooth for how high of a percentage it is um let's give this a try i haven't opened it i haven't tried it nothing this is the benchmark single barrel um let's give it a try See what we got, 47.5% alcohol. It's got a sweet note. I don't know, it's starting to smell a little bit like that Benchmark 8. It's 
got like that weird, I don't know, man. I always describe it as like a scotchy smell or a scotchy taste, but it's got a weird. It's like a sweet menthol. Like, I don't know, it doesn't smell great. got a very weird smell it's not like a traditional bourbon smell i don't get all the caramel and uh, vanilla i may gotta let it open up a little bit since i just cracked the bottle and that's weird like i reviewed the uh, the smoke wagon on here the small batch and the sink or the small batch and the straight and i i think i gave the win to the small batch but then i revisited everything the next day and i had a sip of both and that smoke wagon straight that 30 dollars bottle the cheap one is good man it'll wait i think it's way better than small batch i have i've been hitting i've killed like two or three bottles of smoke wagon straight the straight bourbon and i'm still working on my small batch that i've had for months and i i i, I prefer the straight over the small batch and uh smoke wagon so so if you watch my first video if you watch that video then uh i changed my my who won um Let's see. Let's see if it's changed. No, I'm still getting that that I don't know, it's like a it's like a cheap bourbon smell. Like a Jim Beam. Not a not a Jim Beam. Jim Beam is real nasty, but um it's like a cheaper bourbon smell. I don't know. No, let's try it. Let's see what it is. Yeah, it's got that that cheap bourbon um, aftertaste. It's not horrible like Jim Beam. It's not that bad, but it's a little bit there. It's there, just a little bit. Um, it's better than Benchmark 8. Um, that I can taste Benchmark 8 in this. So, um, I probably won't buy it again. Um, I don't know if I'll drink it all. I mean, to tell you the truth, I'll have to revisit it. Like I said, usually when you revisit a bourbon the next day or whenever, like after you've tried it the first time, you taste different profile and, and you get different things. But my daughter's screeching in the background. All right. The second taste was a little bit better. I Man, still got that weird, I don't know. It's smooth. There's no burn for 47.5. There's no burn, no burn at all, but it's just got a weird flavor. Not my cup of tea. Um, if you can grab it, $23 to try it yourself. You might like it. If you like benchmark eight, it's kind of got that flavor to it. All right. There, I get a little bit of sweetness, a little caramel, a little vanilla on that sip. That was the third sip. The first sip was just that weird benchmark taste. Second sip got better, third sip, I mean, it always gets better after the first sip. Any bourbon you drink, it's better the second, third sip, the more you drink it. Um, I don't know. I, 23 bucks, buy it. I'm probably not gonna buy it again. I guess I'll revisit it, but get that weird little aftertaste i don't know what that is man i don't know why benchmark has that benchmark eight that's why i didn't like it it had that weird aftertaste it was just like a scot like a not a scotch but a unique bad aftertaste i don't i don't know i don't know if it's just it's not aged long enough so maybe grab some of this and dump it in a home aged barrel or something and probably be pretty good See that? That was a fourth sip. Now it's starting to taste a little bit better, but they always do. Um, it's good. Not, not like I said. I, I probably won't buy it again. Like this will probably take me a while to drink this bottle. Um, like I said, I don't really drink bourbons to get hammered. I just drink it because I like the flavor of a bourbon. I like the flavor, and sometimes I get a little buzz, but. 
if I don't like the taste of bourbon, if I don't like it, then I'm not going to drink it just to drink it. Like, I got a buddy, he'll drink anything. He don't give a shit. He likes to burn, he'll drink fucking anything. Anything you give him, he's just a tank. Me, I can't do that. Um, for $23, whatever. It is what it is. I mean, it's not great. It's not phenomenal. It's definitely not Bland's or E.H. Taylor. Not even close. It's just okay. It's okay bourbon. All right, have a good one.